Today on the channel, like a young Rob Halford, we're locked and loaded with the McFarlane Toys Accessory Pack number three. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another McFarlane Toys unboxing and review and today on the channel we got something back again as we got the McFarlane Deluxe Accessory Pack Part 3 and of course for all your McFarlane needs make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free gotta get a deal out there however this was purchased via the McFarlane Toy Store I believe it is an exclusive at least as of right now to the McFarlane Toy Store and this kind of one of those things you order you kind of forget about it just shows up one day and that's where this was for me and I'm here for this I like these little weapons packs and we've talked about it in the two prior packs but we'll rerun it real quick right here. Uh, Warner Brothers does not allow the DC superheroes to have weapons. So McFarlane, being that genius that he is, puts out these weapon packs under the Spawn branding, which isn't DC, Warner Brothers, of course. But nobody's telling you you can't use these for your DC superheroes if you want to at the end of the day. So I think that is a genius move by McFarlane. It's getting weapons into the hands of people that want them for their figures. Yes, people can say they should be included, stuff like that. But guess what? McFarlane, if he could, he would put these with the Lobos of the world and the Grifters of the world and things like that. He just can't, so he does a workaround. And I think that's a pretty cool move to work around the system a little bit because technically they're for spawn figures but nobody's telling you you can't use them with your dc figures after all and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and we're gonna go one by one through these weapons now first impressions of this pack a little bit zanier than the first two we see some weapons getting reused again in different colors not as much meat on the bone on this pack and i can see people that bought the first two probably saying you know what I'm good. I don't need crazy colors. I don't need the rehashes of some of these weapons. And that is a little bit understandable here. But we're going to take a look at the packaging on this. Got that green background. Big spawn logo up top. Uh, accessory pack down here, number three. Big window box showing off all the weapons. All that kind of fun stuff. Nothing on the sides. Very fun. McFarlane toys at the top. Jibber jabber all down on the bottom. And then you got the weapons on the back. Now, one thing I would love to see with this, and I guess they're not going to do it on the packaging, so I need some kind soul out there in the interwebs to put who each one of these weapons go to because I am not, I'm just so totally oblivious to those things. And sometimes it doesn't matter who, you know, you can give this to Commando Spawn if you want, it doesn't really matter. But sometimes some of these weapons go to distinct individuals, and I would love to know where they go to. So if somebody has that, feel free to send along. But I'm not sure if there is that for this set. This could be just random weapons, or they could be, the, you know, the Joker from this figure or something like that. You really never know. But there it is out of the package. really like that background even more with all that Spawn logo. I think that looks really cool right there. But we have the old up high. See you later. And now we got the weapons. Look at that. Double plastic prison caked in there. I'm here for that all day long. A lot of crazy colors on these, like I did say. And uh, very interesting. Very interesting. But we're getting it out. There it is. See you later. All right. Now we're just going to dive in one by one here or two by two, depending. But we do get two pistols here. Nice green color with a little black on it. Uh, very, very nice and a little different in the pistol department. They're very similar, but very different. Maybe these go to a grifter or somebody like that. I don't know, but two nice handguns. Uh, these are, of course, seven inch scale. Can work for your Marvel Legends, but might be a little bit big at the end of the day. Choose your own adventure, though, as we always do say. There's a very interesting weapon. Not even sure what this is. Not even sure what it shoots out. Lasers of some kind. It's a yellow and black attack. Obviously, this must be some kind of a Bible shooting gun for the band Striper. It's the only thing I can really think of right here. But shout out to Striper. To hell with the devil once again. Michael Sweet, big fan of the channel. Or probably has no idea what this is even about. So there you go. You choose your own adventure. Got a nice little rifle going on here. A long rifle. An old man rifle is what this reminds me of. Something Clint Eastwood would have on his porch or something. Who knows? But a nice rifle here. Brown color. Got the black against it. Good looking. I got no issues with this. So nice little rifle. You could set your watch too as far as rifles do go. 
We continue on. We got two more pistols here. Uh, this time a little purple color. I don't know what purple color goes to here, but the black and purple attack, same weapon twice in this instance here. It looks good for what it is. You need two pistols for somebody. Man, you're off to the old races once again. And then we got a big, big old, uh, big old missile launcher right here looking huge. Got a nice army green color against the nice silver of the missile on the end. Nice yellow stripe against it. Looks something like a guy in G.I. Joe. Maybe Bazooka would have this. Who knows? I think we got this in the past with Commando Spawn or She Spawn. I could be wrong, uh, but it is a repaint is what it looks like to me. But it does look really nice. It is a big, big weapon. Uh, big artillery right there. This one seems to be new, and I could see this with maybe Gunslinger spawn. Maybe it kind of has that Gunslinger feel to it. Very ornate with a gold design against it. Got a nice blade on the end, like a young bayonet, kind of. And then a big old, like, periscope on the end here. It looks like some old-timer in the sea would have that and looking out. But we got that, and then a nice wooden handle against here. Uh, very, very ornate weapon. Very interesting weapon, no doubt about it. But it looks like something maybe Gunslinger spawn could have. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Sure, why not? Here's another one we've seen in the past as well. I think I used the original version of this with the Joker. It was all in black. Well, now we get the gold across the top. We get the silver handle. I think Gunslinger Spawn might have came with this as well along the way. Uh, but I've used this gun for the Joker just because it's kind of funny with that long barrel on it. So I might use this for another Joker figure along the way. But once again, looking pretty nice there. We get a machine gun here like a young B.A. Baracus would use with the green and black attack once again. Uh, a few of these have the green and black attack going on. Be interested to see who they go to, but it is just a straight up Uzi. Something straight out of the 80s is what this reminds me of. But looking good. Once again, these all look really, really good. Love a sawed off shotgun. How about that? Looks like something maybe, once again, Gunslinger Spawn getting a lot of shout outs here. But a nice sawed-off shotgun going on. A dangerous weapon. Maybe the Joker might have this as well. Looking good. Got the brown against the grayish kind of gunmetal gray. Looks really, really nice. I'm here for that as well along the way. Once again, we get another long one. Maybe good for the Joker. Got a little suppressor, silencer, whatever you call it here. Gold weapon, black silencer, suppressor. Uh, a nice one. And I think we've seen this in the past all in black. Now we get it in the gold and black attack this time. So shout out to the Steelers, I guess. Who knows? Uh, a crazy weapon. I think we've, have we seen that? Maybe we haven't seen this one before. It's got some of the uh, cargo or cargo. How about uh, ammo down here at the bottom? Nice teal color against the black, red ammo. Very futuristic looking gun. I guess we'll call this one. Uh, definitely an interesting look to it. Uh, not bad though. Not bad. Gets the job done for what it is. If you need a futuristic looking gun in your collection. Here's the last really big gun here. Once again, you got ammo down at the bottom. Uh, very futuristic, very big time military looking weapon here. Not sure who this belongs to. Once again, it'd be interesting to know who this goes to. But a dirty wash against kind of the gun metal gray throughout. And then the ammo down in red. Looking nice on this one. So the hits keep on coming. And then we get another one of these, and I think we got these in the past as well. Uh, kind of a machine gun. You got the old magazine right in there. The magazine not removable, as we know. Uh, Purplish pink color against the grayish black color. An interesting color combination. Maybe once again, Joker, Joker Goon, something like that. You guys tell me. Uh, but looking good right there. And it does kind of match the purple on the pistols as well that we saw earlier. Another futuristic looking gun, once again, in the gray and yellow color. Uh, almost looks like a taser gun or something like that, but a very futuristic looking weapon is what it is. Probably my least favorite out of all the ones I've pulled out so far. Probably my least favorite right there. And then the final one, it looks to be the final one. Yep, the final one. It's more of a shotgun again. Another futuristic looking shotgun. Looks like it's got something that would pull over. Like this would almost go under the arm, uh, but it is sculpted all together. Gray, dark wash, metalish color once again. Uh, just a very primitive kind of gun. A shotgun, so he kicks the door in and pow, 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 or pew, 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 depending how you like to do it. Uh, we could have one of that. So an interesting one. It looks like we got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 weapons here. And we're going to call this segment Counting with Kyle, proving that I can count to 17. Yes, it's true. I can. I just proved it here for each and every one of you guys and gals watching this video. But an interesting accessory pack part three here today. I have to assume we're going to keep getting these a couple of times a year. I'm sure four will be announced before you know it. But I do like the idea and I like the work around here. A lot of people complain about the DC Warner Brothers properties not getting the weapons. 
this is a way to get weapons in those hands uh, instead of having to go to third party, very expensive makers, things like that. It's McFarlane Toys looking out for their fan base. And I got to give props to McFarlane every single day. Yes, sometimes he has some quality control. They all do. But man, McFarlane, he does not mess around with his team. There's new product all the time. There's new announcements all the time. There's new stuff hitting the stores all the time. There's exclusives online. They run deals. They run store exclusives. They are always in their in your face. And that's how you got to be in business. You got to always be top of the mind. Always have something going on. Always getting yourself out there multiple times. And McFarlane, truly the master master of that here we are in 2023 so an interesting one accessory pack volume three what are your thoughts pick up pass long game no game you're happy with the first two do you know who any of these weapons go to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and of course you made it this far don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell make sure you subscribe to both youtube channels make sure you thumbs up videos on both channels as it does help the channel's growth as you guys know don't forget about patreon for early access to videos like this bonus content exclusive content giveaways q a's you know it's all going on over there at the old patreon channel and best way to support the channel you can also support the channel pressingtees.com search kyle peterson and don't forget social media sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram so for accessory pack volume three i am kyle see you guys all real soon